um, we as facilitators are the first representation of the group, of the environment, of the context, and um, the air that all of us are, are breathing. And we're creating in our attitude, in our way of being as facilitators, we're creating a society in a way. It's so interesting that, that we get to do that when we start a group. We get to, to um, initiate a way of being. Uh, we could say we're modeling it, but we're breathing it, we're being it. And we're creating it and it is creating us. But facilitators, in a way, have the first move in that, oh, I don't even know, because that's too linear, right? I'm thinking the old way. It, there isn't a first move and a second move, right? Um, it's all the one interaction. Um, this idea that we are this interaction. And so we want to be very aware of the tone that we're setting, the, the attitude that we're coming with, the way of being that we're initiating. And of course, what we want is a kind of openness and curiosity. So we're going to, to look at that attitude as the primary foundation of any kind of focusing-oriented group. Hassel asked me to, to have a bare bones model. Like what's the least, you know, we could say that would make something a focusing oriented group. This morning for right now, I would say the focusing attitude is it. But then of course I want to add to it Jean's three points. Um, and the first one of the three points that that you read about and maybe watched was the point of we are interaction. And I think that's in the attitude also. And it's a way of looking at the group as unique organismic body we're each cells of this body that is the group. It's changing and um, and carrying forward or getting stuck or needing this or needing that like a garden. The concept of interaction first and seeing the group as, as a whole is like seeing your client as a whole person. Imagine if you only saw your client as parts. There's this, I mean, and, and some people do. So the content is what we're talking about. And that could be many things on different levels. You could have this conversation on this level and then there's this one and this one and they're all interweaving. And it's wonderful and very important to keep track of the conversation. But then there's this underneath the, the about, there's how we are being together, what we're living together. So any comments about what, stuck out for you last time i was the interaction that uh, that it wasn't like i'm up here facilitating the group yes but right. you are not out there looking at this group that's separate from you just as the therapist isn't out there looking at the client that's separate what i remember was um the practice of not knowing of hmm. staying comfortable with not knowing and remembering that there's so much that I don't know. I do, I knew, I do know that logically, but to really 
the the intricacy of the implicit and so on that it, there's just and the specificity that I just cannot access and to stay with that and how paradoxical that is because it makes more mm. come forward so it's like almost like a discipline or a practice I'm finding yes I love that I remember the thing that you said we cannot change the people the other person but we can affect the dynamic we can affect the interaction uh, that was important for me so uh, and close to this maybe uh, we are making the group and the group is making us that mm -hmm. interaction beautiful thank you that's almost my slogan we can change the others but we can change the dynamic yeah. um, Yes, and the we are making the group, and the group is making us. So maybe we could put that in the chat too. And Katerina is helping us with those uh, gathering these these little pointers. Anybody else? Yeah, for me, what stood out was uh, when you said in in t I'm using the word teaching. Right, the person first, each individual person first, the group second, and the subject matter third. Mm -hmm. 